Hey guys, Music Man here back with another Identity 5 video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you another requested hunter for some gameplay of, and I'm going to be showing you some of my clown gameplay. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the first match I'm going to be showing you all is on Eversleeping. That's my persona there. I like something like it. Notice how I don't run detention. Now, um, there are some clowns that have success um, with running detention, but I don't really like using it because... Um, Really, the clown relies on his dash to deal damage, and that doesn't get affected by detention. So, um, I make a choice here by chasing the mech instead of hitting down the bot. Um, I decided that it would be better for me to try to dish some damage to the mechanic first. Um, uh, clown was actually the first hunter, uh, I believe the first hunter I ever got a badge with, so um, I... I did used to know how to play Clown really well, um, however, I, it, it's been a long time since I've played with him, so um, some of my control isn't quite what it used to be. Um, I'm a little bit rusty, shall I say. Um, so you'll see, I'll make some good moves, but um, sometimes it'll be a little bit uh, rougher. So see, that's where um, I was able to use my insolence there. Um, I run insolence on clown because that means that you really just need to get one hit and then you'll um, easily be able to get a second hit in with that dash. So um, much like uh, if you play Ember at all, he, he relies on his presence. Um, th that presence one is where um, he's able to start dealing out some damage. So um, at this point... I, I thought the Prospector was the only one going for the save. I did not notice the Cowboy there. But you can see how Clown is really effective against Prospector there. You saw I was able to do that dash, and that's able to outrun his um, Magnet Stuns. So that can be really, really helpful. Um, I decided to continue going after the Mechanic. I could have justified going after the Cowboy so that nobody would be able to Balloon save. However, um, I want to keep the cheering process going. Um, and see, I use my blink there. I don't swing right away. I want to make sure I get this hit right because that was a very important hit. Um, not every single blink you have to do has to look pretty, shall we say. Um, but ultimately, all that matters is that you do end up getting the hit. I saw that cowboy there and I was like, nope. <laughs> so I just ran backwards and around the corner so that the cowboy wouldn't be able to lasso. Um... Now here's one thing that I really like doing at the chair. Um, at the chair, I like throwing on that um, that healing attachment to make it so that if you hit them, it takes forever for them to heal. Um, that just helps counter Cypher Rush a lot. So you notice at this point, um, there are three survivors over here, which means that that's three survivors that aren't decoding. And there's the cowboy over there, so I want to make sure I'm able to get rid of that last. So see, that's where some of the things where I'm talking about my control on that dash is a little bit rusty, but um, and some of the first things to go if you're a little bit rusty with Smiley is your ability to use your um, dash on the like in between pallets there. So. I was able to terror shock the gravekeeper, but I'm gonna target the prospector since I know I'm a hard counter to prospector. I'll be able to get it down quickly, especially given the area he was in. There's not a lot of pallets, so the number one pain of um, as a smiley is when a survivor is able to tight kite. So if you're gonna play, his ability is very good um, against transitional kiting, but against tight kiting, smiley tends to struggle a little bit. Um, you can see here, I'm just trying to constantly put pressure on the cowboy, try to force him to save um, after half. Um, and at this point, the gravekeeper is going to get up. Um, but I figure I'll be in good shape if the prospector there see is after half. Um, and I actually do pretty poorly with this. I should have tried to get around a little bit. Um, but I'm going to try to chase the prospector here. Um, I'm waiting for my dash, but, um, see, that's kind of what makes me think that I, I really wish Prospector had a cooldown on those magnets, 
um, but I was able to get the hit using my blink, so I was able to sort of bypass that, if you will, um, the cooldown for the magnet. So, um, and I end up dropping the survivor before the cowboy is able to do that lasso, so that really helps me out there. And now the prospector is dead on chair. So at this point, I know all I need to do is down one survivor. Now I'm not carrying detention, so that's not necessarily a guarantee, although highly likely. So I don't know how long this cipher has been going off, so I'm just going to make my way over this way. Um, and it's the gravekeeper over here, and he can be sort of a pain with his shovel here, but I'm able to get that really quickly there. And I know that the cowboy is also trying to start up another cipher. Um, I was trying to go for that there, but um, at this point, I'm going to, I believe I stick on my attachments here to try to get to that cipher. I'm not quite sure. Um, yep, over here, and I see that cipher is wiggling, and I don't know how long that cipher has been going either, so I'm going to try to make my way over there. Um, you can see I'm weaving my way through to try to get my way over there. Um, and I end up accidentally hitting the wall there. So my control is not amazing with Clown, but it's also not necessarily terrible. If I were this cowboy, yeah, that, there's the cypher pop there. Um, but here's the point where I'm saying I don't really need detention because all the hits that I'm going to get are bound to be with the dash. So I'm going over here, using my dash around the corner there and get the cowboy. And that is the last down I need to secure a win. Um, so you notice what I was doing. I, um, whenever I was camping the chair, I would use my um, healing attachment to slow down the coding. Um, and you can see how I was using my dash um, to my advantage. So now we're gonna move on to the second game which is on Lakeside Village. Um, overall, these are maps that I don't particularly like to play Smiley on. Uh, some of my favorite maps to play Smiley on are probably, let's see, Moonlit's a really good one for Smiley. Um, uh, that's probably the best map for Smiley there. So what I do at the beginning here is I throw on my rocket attachment. So that allows me to do that dash right away if I need it. So. At this point, I was chasing the priestess, and I actually meant to break the portal there, but accidentally hit the priestess. I'm like, I don't mind that. Um, but I was able to get some damage on the priestess there, and I'm going to continue chasing the priestess. Um, and I thought the priestess was going to be able to use a portal on that rock, so I didn't bother using my dash there. But it worked out for me because this portal really has nowhere for you to transition to if you don't get the palace one. So now I'm going to take the priestess to the chair. I'm keeping an eye out for that four to see if he dashes to see if I need to drop the survivor. And I don't, so now I'm going to sort of make my way over there. And you notice right when I go on the chair, I'm going to throw on my healing attachment. And just like I told you that you should. Um, so now I see that's over there. I'm going to use my blink and I'm going to down the forward there. So now that healing attachment is going to make it so that he's down forever. You'll, you'll notice that um, he's probably down for a good couple minutes. Um, that healing attachment really does a lot. Um, even though it's not necessarily the flashiest one. Everybody likes the propeller one, but um, the healing one is probably equally as useful in the grand scheme of things that helps kind of cipher rush. Um, now at this point, nobody's decoding, so I'm not really stressed out. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna deal as much damage as I can here. So now at this point, the cowboy's down, and I knew that I needed to down the cowboy so that he wasn't able to use his lasso. And I just kind of felt like going after the thief here, trying to get as many survivors down as possible. You can see, um, closely um, looping around that so I'm able to get the um, down on the thief. So the thing about Smiley is that he takes a lot of practice and a lot of control and if you don't play him a lot sometimes you can be a little rusty there. Um, so now 
I'm just kind of going around here. I could have tried taking the cowboy to the chair, but I see my tinnitus is off, so I don't want to risk a rescue here. So, yep. My dash is faster than your dash, thief. So, or not thief, forward. Um, I was able to down that um, forward really quickly. And you can see that, <laughs> that was funny. Um, he was probably trying to get the survivor so I wouldn't get dashed into it. But um, I was able to get the down on the thief before the flashlight was able to do anything. So I would consider uh, Clown to be a hard counter to thief. So if you ever have issues with thief, not that you really usually do, but um, if thief is something that uh, it can be tough on certain hunters like geisha uh, geisha has a hard time with thief um and this is one of the things that i just totally dislike the most is when there's a super portal over there and a survivor is able to go through it with tide um, especially because he was dead on cherry but i also have been keeping track and the priestess is also dead on chair and i don't need to cross half the map to get to her because he's right in front of me right there. So I'm going to choose to chase the priestess here. Even though it is small boat, um, I figure everybody else is going to try to heal up. That That's going to buy me a lot of time. So um, you can see I tried, I tried to make a cheeky move there, but it didn't really work. Um, I was a little bit late with that blink. And to do blinks like that require very, very precise timing. Um, and I just ended up not quite doing that right. Um, now at this point, I know I'm in really good shape. Four ciphers remaining. Thief is down. Priestess is going to be dead on chair. And as I predicted, the forward and the cowboy did choose to heal up. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to throw on all of my attachments here. Try to get there as quickly as possible. I see the wiggling cipher in front of me. Um... So now I'm going to try to make my way over here. I didn't know where the forward was going to run to, so I'm going over here. That's a little bit irritating. I really wanted that to hit, but either way, the pallet's downed. Um, and the forward doesn't have a ton to work with at the moment, so I'm able to get a nice, easy hit on the forward. And I'm just kind of chasing forward because um, I'm able to. So now I'm going over here and I get a nice second hit using my dash on the forward. You can see where um, really Smiley takes a lot of control. That was a good lasso. I, I didn't really see that coming. Should have been looking out for that cowboy, but my dash allows me to catch up to them easily anyway. So get a hit on the cowboy. Um, he's trying to put pressure on me so that the thief can have a chance to decode. However. I just kind of chase him away, and the cowboy's not really going to do anything about it. Uh, I could have elected to continue chasing the cowboy, however, um, I decide that it's time to put the thief... Why do I keep saying thief whenever I mean forward? Um, decide to put the forward on the chair. So, now you notice here, again, healing attachment. That's arguably one of the most important attachments in this game. Especially against, uh, uh, if you ever come across like a Cypher Rush team comp, that can really help out way more than you might think. So, um, see, now I hit him, now he's going to take forever to heal. Um, oh wait, watch this, I remember this part. So I missed that there, but what I do is I do my dash, blink through the wall, go around. And that's like the type of stuff where I'm saying... If you have a lot of control with Smiley, you can be extremely scary. So, um, you saw I was able to blink through that wall, and I was able to uh, use my dash to get uh, a down there. So, um, now the forward's going back on the chair, and I knew with my final presence I would be able to catch right back to that thief. Uh, I want to make sure the cowboy's not going to try to pull a save here. Um, and it doesn't appear so. So now it's time to put the thief on the chair. Um, 
I believe he's dead on chair, so... Um, at this point, the cowboy's just kind of looking for dungeon here. I'm going to try to put on my attachments, wait for that ping, because most of the time when there's one survivor left, crows come right away, and I see that, try to dash over there, but he's already standing on the dungeon at that point. And that's also a win for me. So, um, here's uh, Red Church. Red Church is a decent smiley map. Um... You can see I'm putting my, I believe I was putting on the propeller there, right there. So just in case I need to, I can do an early dash. And I see the thief here. And as I said before, um, Smiley is a hard counter to thief. See, I'm able to dash right up to him and get my quick first hit. So now I just need to charge and I'm able to get, look how quickly I was able to secure that first down. Um, at this point, I'm just going to kind of go over here. Um, I did not see that coming. That was a good... Uh, that was a good flare gun by the coordinator. Um, that slows down my progress a lot, but I figure if the coordinator is just going to stand around, I might as well dish some damage in the process. I end up losing the thief, which is no big deal because I'm not really expecting it to be a huge issue. Um, before, and I think that was just a little bit of lag, but I actually, I think I used my dash through that wall there. And I see these footprints here, so I'm just going to try to rush a save as fast as I can. Um, and I see the prospector there. And like I said before, the smiley countered a prospector. Um, and his swing is also really, really fast, which is helpful against a Prospector because that's what can kind of make Prospector a pain if you play like Wu Chang, because um, the white Wu Chang is really slow um, charge time for uh, his attacks, um, and that can make Prospector a pain. Um, however, a lot of times you are able to use the range of white Wuchang also to your advantage. And I was able to get a hit on that thief again. Uh, just like I said, I wasn't predicting that he was going to be a super huge threat for me. Um, but the perfumer actually ended up getting a save there. Um, and then I just wanted to dish as much damage as possible, especially because, as I've said before, um, you get the first hit on the perfumer the perfumer is not going to be a problem for you whatsoever so now there's four survivors running but all of them are injured you can see right there i'm out running uh, the dash or not the dash the magnet and now the thief is over here i'm going to take the thief to a chair and afterwards i'm going to take the prospect to the chair so now there's two more survivors um, on the respective chairs and now they need to heal up before coming for a rescue because um, if you play Smiley correctly he can be pretty decent at getting uh, double hits if you're able to get a hit super super early um, then you're able to quickly dash but um, you, you're going to see this right here um, I find the coordinator super early. I know they just healed, so I know I don't have to worry about the perfumer so much. You can see using that control, looping around those walls. Um, and this is kind of an, <laughs> this is an oopsie right here. Um, this is me trying to get cheeky and get a tear shock on the chair, but <clears throat> that was a bad blink. Um, see me looping around these walls, getting a double hit on the coordinator. Um, I was trying to get a hit on the thief, especially because I know she doesn't have Tide anymore. Um, and this spot I know is rough. I got a notification that I was at 20% um, battery power, so that's why um, that was kind of rough for me. But I end up downing the thief there. Um, his charge attack does have decent range, so you can use that to your advantage. It's not a ginormous range, but it's not bad either. Um, I tried dropping the thief before that, but I wasn't able to. But either way, 
I just down the thief super, super quickly. Um, and notice the cipher count. There's not a whole lot because they've all been just kind of hanging around. Um, and this isn't uh, ranked mode. When I was filming this gameplay, uh, ranked wasn't open, but I really wanted to get some gameplay um, secured for you all so that you all could watch me play some Smiley as requested. And I hope you all enjoy. That's the game. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you have any requests for future hunters for me to make videos of, please leave that down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching.